Now, this time of the year especially, when we're tying with flies, uh, and if you're going to be fishing, certainly a lot of the lochs and lakes in the UK and Ireland, um, you've got to have some midge pupa. Now, there's many colour combinations. Uh, all, everybody's got their favourite, and uh, these are basically the bigger ones at the beginning of the year. Yeah, you're looking mainly 10s and 12s, especially the early midge, uh, that's a size. Um, simple flies to tie, materials are very simple, they could be natural or like quilled bodies or they could be like, in this case, I'm going to be using super stretch floss, this one. I'm going to use it, this is going to be for the wing buds, I'm going to use the black for the rib. Uh, simple materials, thread, especially for buzzers. I like to use a, a UTC thread, it's a flat thread, in this case this is black. Hook choice, it could be a straight hook or a curved hook, again it's up to yourself. Uh, straight hook's very popular with competition anglers, I, I like a straight hook as much. I can get, I, I like both to be honest with you, but um, if you're going to be moving the fly or making it, twitching it, the straight hook will hook up better. Curved hook's more for like static or sort of hanging the fly. Uh, the fish will hook up better on the curved hook. But as I say, it's up to yourself. You've got to have confidence in what you're using. Now, as I say, we just simple fly, 10s and 12s. This is the Mirage, just a Thixi Floss Buzzer, or Super Stretch Floss, whatever you want to call it. Bring it down the thorax length, and you tie in some of the Super Stretch Floss in black. Stretch it as we wind down. Very easy. This point, just slightly by the bend. We work our way up. And the shot stops round about a mile and a half from where I tied the floss in. Stretch floss and then trim that away. Now to highlight this area, I'm going to use a, a green holographic tinsel. This this one's from Vineyards. Uh, you could use pearl, you could use red, orange, there's whatever colours. Nice wee highlight there, it could be a floss even. The holographics work really well. Now you come up to this point and then look in. Two or three turns. Make sure you tie this in. I go up about four or five turns and come back. Trim this away. The reason I like to do that is when you bring your rib up, you don't want to be tying. There'll be a wee slight step there if you just come straight up. So taking the thread up that wee touch gives you a better base for getting a a nice rib. So if we rib the fly, we start off quite tight and as we come up we loosen off so we get a thicker, a thicker rib. And don't be don't be frightened with the slack turn. We're going to be varnishing. You could be using a resin or whatever you like. The fly which will hold it together. Trim away the waste. And then we continue up to the eye. Now for the wing buds, we've got the, the chartreuse. Again you can change the colour of this to suit yourself, suit the pattern. All I do is fold around about an inch and a bit of the floss round the thread. Got to put both ends, the long end and that short end, keep underneath. And I basically wind down to the beginning of the body, which is there. We start to come back up a wee bit. Let me tie in the thorax cover. Thorax cover is a an opal mirage. In this case, this is large, which is okay for a ten. Uh, you could get away with a twelve as well, uh, but you have if you think it's too wide, then use a, a medium. Just catch it on the top. You can leave this out if you don't want the, the mirage. But what I'm going to do is take the thread down to the eye. Come back up, just building up the, thor the thorax a bit. Before we go any further, just check where we are, that's fine. Come back up. It's going to come up a bit, halfway, and then back down. Now it's important we do this a wee half hitch here. With the thread. Basically what happens, the UTC's got a bit of stretch in it, so if you bump the thread with all those turns, it'll unravel. If you put a wee half hitch in, it stops that while you're working, or basically forming the thorax and the wing buds. This just stops it bouncing back. So the first thing I do is bring over the thorax cover. 
you stretch, just pull it tight, bring the thread over from the back, two or three turns to secure it. See how it's sitting there. And then we can pull it up, catch the edge, and then tear it off. Give it a ring bud. And we tie these off in the top. So obviously these are coming from the underside up onto the top. Let me just come over. Two or three turns, both together as you can see. Now I'm just going to check to see how much of a wing bud and a step I've got. Now that looks okay. Uh, you could make it looser where you get more of a pronounced wing bud at the back, but that's fine. Now as you can see I'm building up the head with a few turns. And then what I'm going to do is stretch the waist ends, stretch, floss, trim, stretch, trim. But you need to get a few turns in there to get that neat cut. And then just build up the head again with the thread to tidy up. And then we can quite finish. Now I'm going to use a, an acrylic paint, fluorescent orange, to highlight the back. Just checking to see how it's sitting. That looks okay. Now this is the fluorescent orange paint. It came in a small tube, I just put it into this bottle. Uh, yeah, I got it from an art shop, so it dries, acrylic paint it dries really quick. Now we, if you can rotate your vice like this, it's easy. So you're looking just to highlight the bottom end of the wing bud. You don't need too much. There we are. Just allow that to dry. Now I've already got one sitting here. Now what I normally do is I tie, tie a few and then I varnish them or use the resins uh, once they're all dry. So I'll remove that. Get one here tied earlier. Now you could use the UV resin in the whole fly or in my case I'm going to use UV resin and varnish. It's up to yourself how you want to do your fly. I've got many UV resins on the market, this is the one I'm using from Full and Mill. It's quite a, it's a heavy one, uh, it's hard, it dries really hard. Now, make sure it's clean in the end. The resin, so it's going to highlight the head area, then come round, highlight the back of the wing buds. Let's see, it's up to yourself how you do this. Now, what I'm going to do is use my needle so I can move it around the resin to get it to sit where I want. I don't like the, I'm too heavy, but I do like to get a, a nice shape in the midge, and this is the way you do it. You see it's highlighting the head of the, the midge pupa and the thorax. We can, just with the excess, just rub it onto the underside of the thorax. Make it nice and thin. So see, you can Move it around to suit yourself. If you need a wee bit more, you can add it as well. And you're happy with the sort of shape that you're looking for. You can set the resin. You can see the fluorescent paint, how, how it glows. Yeah, I give it, because it's quite a heavy resin, uh, Give it a wee tad longer with the UV light. You can then varnish the thorax. And I'm just using a Benyard varnish, a clear varnish. And I'm just going to rub it on the body from the back up towards the thorax. Just lightly do it. You don't want to use, lose that rub effect. Let me touch more at the top.
And there we are. Basically, that's your Mirage Midge Pupa. Simple fly to tie. So you can tie quite a few. So I hope you enjoyed that.